What's up YouTube? So, 6th prediction check after the Azerbaijan Grand Prix, sorry for the delay, I had a lot to do and as always we'll start with the chain bear prediction board and no these are not the updated scores. Um, Percentage of total points for top three teams is definitely not looking good because on the 25 and down it is 82 points uh, with 67 on the 50 and down. The 50 and down is the one I am currently testing. As for all the podium cities, no one new in Azerbaijan being exactly the same as in China. Most driver of the day awards in Azerbaijan, Charles Leclerc was the first to um, get two awards for driver of the day with Max Verstappen not getting anything and with Baku getting the same amount of um, retirements as Bahrain it's not looking good for that prediction on for anyone and certainly not for me because if any race gets more than four retirements well I'm done and some of the contestants are as well. If Belgium is the one with the most retirements, then we're in for a treat. <clears throat> Which driver will gain the most positions from start to flag? Lance Stroll is leading that comfortably with 19 total. He, he hasn't lost positions in any races. A rookie of the year seems to be so far Lando Norris or, or Alexander Albon and I will be saying Lando Norris so far which engine manufacturer will earn the most points uh it's still mercedes obviously and with nobody getting with dan on top no one has a 20th question in the bag and i am actually tied with dan on points and as for the chamber predictions board baku did turn out to be super dull the race at least and liberty media rebumping fridays they liberty technically didn't it was the baku um city commission for for i guess road uh, maintenance because the manhole cover was put wrongly from points for all drivers we have that on the 50 and down although the 25 and down obviously not with william not getting any points but the 50 and down is looking good on that with interestingly the two williams being in front of daniel ricardo and roman grosjean because of the whole retirement thing and so we have a total of 11 points on the chamber bingo versus and as for my predictions board this isn't the updated version lancel answering his critics of course uh, he drove from p18 to p9 and half race distance after being fucked over in a pit stop and as for the shirtless pictures good luck we have not just another photo of um hamilton and boccolacci we also have a new photo of lance stroll topless in a mountain in i guess switzerland and that if you remember a lance stroll topless photo was worth an, a bonus point as a whole and if monaco and singapore bring crashes we are in for an all or nothing because baku saw sukavliat get sukavliated Test races with first lap drama. Ironically, Baku is the first race with first race with no first lap drama, with three out of four so far. Highest drive of the day, no higher than seven. The highest so far is two with Charles Leclerc. And well, team. Well, we haven't had any teammates crashing proper. As you may remember, Daniel Ricciardo and Daniel Kvyat used to be teammates in 2015 and in the first part of the, in the first part of 2016. So, yeah, that gives us a total of 12 points with two predictions yielding one and a half. So that's the shirtless pictures and the 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 topless pictures and the um, teammates crashing. And 
yeah, we got that. Uh, that's a total of 43 points for us. And yeah, you can still um, see that in the championship span for the Drivers' Championship, everyone still has a green bulb on both championships. Um, which makes sense, we can expect those um, bulbs to remain green for everyone until at least Hockenheim. And yep, you can still follow me on Instagram in case you want to follow a fan page run by a Lance Roll fanboy. Yeah, I'm a Lance Roll fanboy, get over that. And yeah, thank you all for watching and see you next time for Spain.